hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new my name is Gina so today's video is long overdue I have been saying I'm gonna do this for the last couple of months now and I kind of been dreading it because I know I'd have to pull all of my items out this video is going to be showing you guys my entire bath and body works collection um, it's not gonna include minis I do have about seven or eight or maybe nine um, minis that I'm not including in this video but this will be everything else so like I said I've been um, dreading pulling some of the items out I have them in different locations in my home I don't have the best setup for them I do keep quite a few in my uh, closet in my bedroom but the rest I store in like a storage space in my basement and I don't mind that because it keeps them cool but sometimes I do kind of want to see them all out on display and be able to pick and choose from all of them versus a select few you know it's just down my steps so I can go down there and I do when I um, I'm feeling like using something that's put in storage but it would just be more convenient if I had them all in one spot so I'm working on a solution for that but for right now I am just going to be showing you the items and guys please do not judge me I have quite a bit um, I'm not going to include that in the video, but I do plan on decluttering some of my items. I'm going to try to and maybe sell some of them on my Poshmark or Macari, the ones that I'm not super in love with. Um, and I just wanted to get them out so I can see what all I have. So let me stop rambling and let's go ahead and get right into the video. Okay, guys, starting off, I just wanted to show you guys some of the one-off items that I have limited quantities in. So starting off, we have the Copper coconut sands moisturizing body wash and i'm not really sure why i don't have more moisturizing body washes because i actually really enjoy them the i think i've had about three or four and i've ran through them i like them so much i think i'm going to start picking them up more than the regular shower gels because that's better for my body type anyway i have eczema and a couple of other skin issues so i think that that would be better for me and it, i think you get more uh, in this container as well 10 fluid ounces so this is a copper coconut sand i'm not going to go over the scent notes for each one but you can see what the notes are there just pause if you want to read them so the next item is this cloud nine cleansing body mousse this is my first time purchasing a body mousse and i really enjoyed this i thought it was super fun to use in the shower and this was actually surprisingly moisturizing as well so there are the notes there and I'm probably not going to show notes on each one either. I just wanted to show you guys my collection. So we're just going to keep it moving so the video doesn't be too long. So this is the Dahlia Shimmer Mist. This is my first Shimmer Mist and only Shimmer Mist. And um, it's very glittery. <laughs> I'll say that. But it does smell exactly like the actual Fine Fragrance Mist. I think I've used it twice. And moving along to my actual body scrubs. We have the Butterfly Creamy Body Scrub into the night glowing body scrub love cotton candy champagne exfoliating glow body scrub and my favorite which is the pink pineapple sunrise the hand and sea salt no oh, sand and sea salt the lighting is not the best today my dilemma all the time but this is my favorite one texture wise i really like this one it's very firming and exfoliating and it smells absolutely amazing all right, so let's go ahead and move along. Guys, I found two more one-off items. This is the Fairy Tale uh, Body Butter. This is the Glotion Body Butter, which I am not the biggest fan of the Glotion form. This is the only body butter that I have, and I do plan on picking up more without the Glotion. The Fairy Tale, I the Fairy Tale scent itself, I do absolutely love, and the body butter is very moisturizing as moisturizing as well. I can just do without the Glotion part of it. And then I knew I had another body wash. This is the Pure Wonder Moisturizing Body Wash. It was hiding from me. So yes, got that as well. So let's go ahead and get started with these shower gels. All right, guys. So this is my shower gel collection right here. And I just wanted to give you a snapshot of how they look all put together. I've got them split into two sections so I can be on one side and easily maneuver and let you guys see what I all have. But I counted a total of 64, I believe. So let's go ahead and zoom in and don't forget this is a judgment free zone yes i do have a lot but they do last for quite a few years and like i said i am going to try to declutter some but if i don't that's okay a lot of these were like three dollars each some five so you know i didn't break the bank buying none of this stuff but anyway it's for my enjoyment and my money so you know 
I feel like I have to give that disclaimer out here so that I don't get any comments saying I'm hoarding and all that stuff. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So here in the back, we have Gingham Heart of Gold wrapped in sunshine. I have not used that one yet. I'm so excited to use that this time of year. Sweet Whiskey, Sunrise Woods, one of the ones that I really, really like. Uh, Twinkling Nights, Beachfront Blanket. This one I love in the summertime. Um, and I got a lot of use out of this one last year on the boat and at the beach. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. This is my, I want to say all-time favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Yeah, it's up there because this, this one, I love this one all across the board. I love the candles. I love the plug-ins, everything that they have and Pumpkin pe Pecan Waffles. So that is, at, yeah, that's my number one favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. Um, Whip Vanilla Chiffon. Fireside Flurries, another good one. This one is Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. Going down, Dahlia. Now, this one is my least favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. This one's just, the, the lotion and the mist are okay, but the body wash stank to me. I, yeah, I don't like it at all. Confetti Cake Pop, this is a, such a good one. Such a creamy cake-like scent. Love that one. Margarita Cupcake, this one as well. I remember I hunted this one down during semi-annual sale to get that. I just love that um, Mandarin note in there. Snowflakes in Cashmere, another good one. Open Sky, I have not had an opportunity to use this one yet, but this is perfect for this time of year. White Pumpkin and Chai. Magnolia and Charm. Absolutely love the packaging on Magnolia and Charm. It's kind of in the middle for me. Not my favorite scent, but it's not horrible. Perfect Peony. Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. Golden Sunflower. I have not been able to use this one yet, but this one is really, really pretty. And it's slept on, if you ask me. But it's also old, so maybe a lot of people are just over it. Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is the second my second or third favorite scent from bath and body works kind of want to say my second it's between this one and forever red i kind of love all three of them, them that i mentioned um equally pumpkin pecan waffles forever red and this one this one i have the whole product line in and i just absolutely love this one it makes me feel so pretty this one is little black party dress don't even know if I've used that one yet. I don't think I have. Um, Into the Night. This one I wore all last weekend. This one is a bop right here. I love this one. So sexy. So sophisticated. And just love it. Perfect for a night out on the town. Or whatever. So um, the next one up is Vanilla Mocha Cream. Very cozy scent. Love to um, put that on like when it's really cold outside. And just want to cuddle up or just chill out. Watch some movies. That's perfect for that. Honey Wildflower, Bali Black Coconut Sands, got Hello Beautiful, um, sorry if you can hear my dog barking outside, Gingham Love, this is a great twist on the regular Gingham, I actually like this one better, I think I like this one out of all three of the Gingham spinoffs they have, well, the two Gingham spinoffs they, they have of the original, I like this one the best. Here's my baby, Forever Red. I talk about Forever Red in most of my videos. No notes on here, but I absolutely love this scent. As you can see, this is probably my most used body wash. Coconut Candy Apple. Oh, I should have put this on my most underrated video. My most underrated scents from Bath & Body Works video. Because I do not and have not heard a lot of people talking about this one. But this one is a really, really nice. It's like a candy red apple that you would get at the fair. Really nice champagne apple and honey all right so that is the first set there let's go ahead and move on to the second set here oh my god my dog will not be quiet <laughs> so we got denim and daisies fresh coconut culotta as you can see i have not used uh, i'm gonna have to smell the mist on this one this might be one of the ones that i'm selling coastal hydrangeas definitely keeping that uh, at the beach, these are kind of similar to me, and I actually prefer this one, so this one might be sold too. I don't know, gotta smell that one again. And this weekend is a good contender for being sold. <laughs> Joy Sugared Snickerdoodle, that one is so good, definitely gonna be keeping that one. It is so sweet, and I actually was looking at this yesterday to use. I know I'm gonna be using this some, at some point this week. Vanilla Bean Noel. I remember that used to be my favorite scent. I absolutely love that one in the shower, but I do not love the mist. And surprisingly, I did not even use it at all last winter. 
Moonlight Path, one of my new faves, um, even though I haven't used it, but I absolutely love this scent as well. It's very unique to me, very mature. Frosted Coconut Snowball, if you know, you know that one is so good. It says Frosted Coconut Snowball, but you can wear that one year round. Twinkling Midnight Sky, another great one, and there's the regular gingham. Going down this way, we have Candied Violet Sorbet, a great one. Starlit Night, I have not gotten any use out of. Maybe used it once. I need to get more use out of that one. Ooh, oh my God, Pink Pineapple Sunrise. Yeah, this is definitely number four on my list of most faves. So, so good. Berry Waffle Cone. Um, this was one that I didn't like at first, but then I started to enjoy it. Sea Salt and Lavender, one of my faves, one of the ones that I originally purchased when I first started getting into Bath and Body Works. Absolutely love this one. It is so calming and soothing. Midnight Pomegranate, a very juicy, pretty scent. Oh, Sunset Glow. See, I, I just got a lot of scents that I have forgotten about. Sunset Glow is so good. Here are the notes here. It has that caramelized vanilla in it and a little bit of cherry. Oh my God, it smells so good. Happy Vibes. This is a nice mood boosting scent. Definitely keeping that one. Cozy Sunday morning. A nice chill scent. Fresh cut lilacs. Um, this one I only wear like in April and May. It is very floral bouquet like. A uh, thousand Christmas wishes. All right, moving down. Strawberry pound cake, one that I recently purchased in the last couple of months, and I was not the biggest fan of before, but I do like it now. Bonfire bash. Ooh, can't wait to wear that one. Champagne toast. Mm, kind of over champagne toast, but I got it. A thousand wishes. When I first started buying Bath and Body Works, like when I was in high school, this was my go-to scent. Uh, pink tie-dye. Don't even remember what that smells like and I got that covered because it was in storage. This might be one that I sell, not for sure. Boardwalk Taffy, your signature sweet scent. Yeah, with the berries and vanilla. Very, very sweet. Champagne shrink, uh, shrinkles. Champagne sprinkles. Pink chiffon, triple berry martini, never used that one. Okay, these two, white t-shirt, fresh coconut cotton. I love these two, definitely not going nowhere. Definitely want backups of these in the body wash. I think I have a backup of this one in the spray. And this one, I just wanted backups of both full lines of these. They are so, so freaking good. All right, guys, so that is my shower gel collection. I think, like I said, I counted 64 of those. So let's go ahead and move along into the lotion. Hey guys, before we get started, just wanted to let you know that I did locate a butterfly shower gel as well. I'm just finding stuff all over the place when I go to set some of these products out, but I just wanted to let you know that I do have that. This is actually the last thing that I purchased from Bath & Body Works. Very happy with that. Got four other product pieces. So let's go ahead and get into the lotions. So I counted um, 40 lotions, I believe. Yeah, 40 because I had that mixed in with this and then I ended up taking that out. So yeah, 40 lotions we have there. So let's go ahead and get started. We have Pretty as a Peach. This one is really, really old. I'm probably gonna end up tossing this one. I don't even really like it. Uh, yeah, don't got nothing good to say about that one. So um, Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow and I'm gonna just zoom through these because I've already kind of talked about them when I showed you guys my shower gels. Gingham Heart of Gold, Golden Sunflower, Twinkling Nights at the Beach, Joy Snickerdoodle. We have got a uh, beautiful day. I'm probably going to pick up another one of these and toss this one out. This one's pretty old. Starlit Night, Denim and Daisies, Fresh Coconut Culotta, Frosted Coconut Snowballs, Perfect Peony, and Fresh Cut Lilacs. Then we have a Champagne Apple and Honey. Haven't even opened it yet. We've got two Bali Black Coconut Sands. I believe I got this off Macari and they sent me an extra one. Fireside Flurries, Happy Vibes. Midnight Pomegranate, Honey Wildflower, a Sweet Whiskey, A Little Black Party Dress, Into the Night, a Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, Dahlia, Got My Boo Fairy Tale, White Pumpkin and Chai, Wrapped in Sunshine, Sunrise Woods, Snowflakes and Cashmere, Pure Wonder, uh, Bonfire Bash, Coconut Candy Apple, 
pink pineapple sunrise so good champagne toast we got two pink chiffons same thing bought it off macari or poshmark and they sent me an extra um triple berry martini and a thousand christmas wishes so that went fast didn't it all right so let's move along okay guys moving along to the body creams we have uh 33 body creams here and zoom in we have copper coconut sands fairy tale vanilla bean noel coastal hydrangeas whip vanilla chiffon twinkling midnight sky cloud nine moonlight path endless weekend beachfront blanket gingham we have vanilla mocha cream honey wildflower fresh coconut and cotton white t-shirt butterfly sunset glow sea salt and lavender berry waffle cone hello, hello beautiful champagne sprinkles tie-dye boardwalk taffy we have two of the pumpkin pecan waffles told you that's my favorite margarita cupcake confetti cake pop open sky oh, thousand wishes cozy sunday morning gingham love forever red this one is almost empty uh, magnolia charm all right so there we go there i actually do prefer the body creams over the lotions i know they go bad faster they say unless you keep them in a cool spot and that's why i do prefer keeping these in my basement but i do prefer the uh, the texture on these better than the body lotion so let's go ahead and get into the final stage which is the fragrance mist guys i found this candy violet survey body cream so this brings a total of body creams up to 34 i believe child i don't know at this point i done lost count because i done got off track so many times but let's go ahead and get into the body mist. So I believe I counted a total of 72 body mists. So let's zoom in. All right. So here in the back here, starting with fresh coconut and cotton, we have two of the white t-shirts. Yes, I did go buy a backup of that one because I love that one so much. And that one can actually be used on a linen as well. It makes it smell so fresh and clean. White pumpkin and chai, honey wildflower, magnolia charm, we have Little Black Party Dress, Into the Night, Twinkling Nights, Snowflake and Cashmere, uh, Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. This one is Peach and Honey Almond. This one I got off of Macari because I had read so many good things about it and saw so many good things about it on YouTube. This one was an old retired scent. And so, yeah, I picked that one up off Macari. I do not have a body wash or anything to match that one. I might have to look that up. I've got Fairy Tale, uh, Endless Weekend. Coastal Hydrangeas, At the Beach, Joy Snickerdoodle, and then I'm going to go down here. We have Wrapped in Sunshine, Sunrise Woods, Open Sky, Copper Coconut Sands, Vanilla Mocha Cream, Sweet Whiskey, Margarita Cupcake, Confetti Cake Pop, uh, Winter Peach Marshmallow, Dahlia, Gingham Heart of Gold, Golden Sunflower, Happy Vibes, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, uh, Pure Wonder, Pink Tie-Dye. Then we're going to go back up here. We have the Denim and Daisies, Moonlight Path, Fresh Coconut Culotta, Starlit Night, Gingham, Beautiful Day, Twinkling Midnight Sky, Fresh Coconut Snowball. We have Cloud Nine, Bali Coconut Sands, Perfect Peony. Beachfront Blanket, Butterfly, Fresh Cut Lilacs, Cozy Sunday Morning, Candy Violet Sorbet, Sea Salt and Lavender, and A Thousand Christmas Wishes. This is stretching across my whole king-size bed, which is freaking crazy to me. I guess they don't call it a collection for no reason. So over here we have Forever Red, Strawberry Pound Cake, Champagne Apple and Honey. This one is Coconut Candy. I want that to fall. Coconut Candy Apple, Bonfire Bash, Gingham Love, Thousand Wishes, Twisted Peppermint, Fireside Flurries, Sunset Glow, Berry Waffle Cone, Midnight Pomegranate, Pink Pineapple Sunrise, so good, Champagne Toast, Triple Berry Martini, Pink Chiffon, Hello Beautiful, Boardwalk Taffy, 
and champagne sprinkles so guys that is my entire collection i can tell you that i am so exhausted but i'm so happy that i finally was able to film this video if you guys do not know i do have an instagram where i post content daily and a lot of these products are included in layering combos and things of that nature if you are interested please follow me at miss gina d loves if you have any questions please post them in the comment section as always you guys have a blessed day and i hope that you guys really enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it now i gotta go declutter have a blessed one